Hey there, interwebs. Today I have a question from the Shotcut Reddit group, and it's from, looks like Mile Endeavor. And he's asking, is there any way to make text bouncy or shaking in a loop? Is there any way to do that? And as of right now, a couple of people said, try shaking your mouse or nope. And that's not entirely true. I can show you how to do that. So we're gonna create a video in Shotcut with some bouncy shaking text in a loop. So the first thing I've got here is I've got a project with two, two video tracks. I've got myself a little static image here to put in my first video track. So I have some kind of background in my image. I'm gonna go ahead and make that relatively long because we're gonna loop. I have a transparent, and I just got that from Open Other. I have a transparent background. I'm going to drop that into the top track here for video. And then that's where I'm going to put my first filter, which is text. So create a text simple node or filter here. I'm going to put, uh, let's do shake. That sounds like fun. I'm going to use a font that's reasonably sized. I'm going to say use that font and there we go. So we have a little bit of a little bit of text there that says shake. So now we have to figure out the least amount of effort possible how to make that shake. So the first thing that I noticed um, when I was looking at the filters available is there's one in here called nervous and I had seen it used on a couple of videos and it seemed like it kind of needed what I what I wanted. It, it creates a little bit of a jitter, um, but if I put it on there and I hit play, as you can see, it doesn't actually do anything here. It doesn't matter how many frames I increase it. If I just put it on transparent text node, it doesn't have any impact. The reason it doesn't have any impact is because it's looking for movement. So the magic is right here. We can go into our text simple. We can hit keyframe. I've got my starting keyframe. That's where I want my text to kind of stay. I want this to be a loop. So a little trick, I'm going to move the slider to the end. Or the, I'm going to click on the node right here. That generates a keyframe with no movement. So now it's going to start and finish on the same place. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put a little bit of a, an upward movement here. So I'll go up a little, just a little bit with my text, not too much. And then I'll go down a little, just down a little, not too much. And you can see that that nervous filter is already starting to take hold. And then I'm going to go split this a little and I'll go a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. And you can see Nervous is really starting to do its job and a little bit back to the right. So now if I go back, check my Nervous, I'm going to put this down to mm, let's do six frames. That's sort of the distance or the how far off the mark that Nervous filter goes. And as you can see, the text starts to shake, moves around a little, and it finishes where it starts, which is the most important part, because now I can copy that text. I can go paste it a few times, and every single time it's going to end up where it starts. So now there you go. We have some shaky text that's gonna just keep moving back into that same spot and it's going to start to repeat. So it's on a loop as requested. Now, I personally thought six was a little much. I'll do a couple different options here. So we'll put, I'll select the first one. We'll put nervous at, what do you say, four. So you can see that. We'll do this one at two. So you can see that. This one will go bigger, something like eight. So you can see that, and I'll leave the last one at six. 
So you have an idea of what all those different nervous frame settings look like. So here's the first one, that one we said four, should we say six? I'm already forgetting, but you get the idea. Go back and watch the video again and that'll tell you. And you can see it's just more pronounced with those larger numbers. Now, something that I thought looked really nice when I was playing around with this is if you go in here, there's another node and that node is, if I can remember, trails. Trails works really well with this filter. So let me set trails to six frames on this one and then I'm going to give it a little copy. Well, yeah, I'm going to copy this filter. Uh, I guess I can't. So I'm just going to play it after I add it here. Because I want you to see the different, different settings with trails. It really kind of polishes up this, uh, this idea of shaky text. Let me add it on here. We'll set it to 8 so you can see that. I'll add it on the next one. I don't know why I'm not typing trails. There we go. We'll set this one to maybe 10. And then the last one, I'll leave it the default, which I think is 2. And that's a, a really... Well, that one, that trails 2, I think, is... It's okay, it's just, it's very subtle. All right, so let's go back here. Let's start at the beginning and here we go. This is what it looks like with the shake and the trails. So you can see it kind of phases in and out, gives it a little extra adjustment, a little extra jitter. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. Now, if it seems like it's a little much, you can always go back Go into that text simple. You could you could adjust your keyframes. Say maybe I don't want it to travel up so much, but you can see most of that movement is because of the nervous. So maybe you want to go in and, and knock nervous down to four. You can see the impact that that has. Here's that animation again. Kind of moves all around. And I'll give you an idea of what it is when it's really big. Okay, so it really starts to shake it. But I, you know, I hope that answers the question. Um, again, there is a way to make text bouncy and shaking. Uh, there's a way to make it look pretty good with just a little bit of effort. And, uh, you know, I hope that makes your day. I hope it's helpful. See you again next time.